The fact is, the best way of helping Australians feel secure is to bring us all together. That's why we should be talking about social cohesion. We should be recognising that people are only attracted to the kind of extremist propaganda coming out of extremist terrorist groups. If the people listening to it are already feeling isolated, feeling like there's no hope for them here, and so they suddenly become attracted to the idea of going to fight for the caliphate. That's why we need a centre for social cohesion in Australia. The money has already been allocated. The 630 million sitting there, why aren't we using some of it to reach out, to work with the goodwill of communities everywhere to try and include people, to reduce this level of disaffection? The thing that we are so good at is, is tolerance, is actually including people if we go out of our way to do it. Our multiculturalism is something that the world admires. We've had tremendous outreach from leaders in the Islamic faith in Australia saying they're ready to work with people to try to deal with uh, some of the uh, extremism and isolation that young people are feeling. Well, why wouldn't we build on that? Community is key. That means bringing people together, building a re resilient community, making fe people feel included, listening to why they're feeling disaffected and not included. It is absolutely incredible that the Prime Minister would surround himself with all of the security agencies, the police, the military, in order to make an announcement that he is ending the efficiency dividend to all the security agencies, that is giving them more money, and to setting up a new head of his task force. What we need to be doing is spending money on social cohesion and getting rid of guns out of the community. Okay, questions, if you have any. Questions? Thanks very much, Thank everyone. You. Thank you.